Salem got to kick off his first ever classic last year in front of his hometown crowd in Tulsa, Oklahoma, a great host community. But with that in mind, let's give James Elam and Houston a huge round of applause for being our host this week. And oh boy, classic number two seems to be the deal. Brent Ayler finishes his second classic. He absolutely whacks him. And by the looks of things, James Elam has done the very same back-to-back -back classic qualifier. A former Fast Pro Shops and Fast Master Open champion. Four fish here today, but four of the right ones. Four fish on day number one of the Geico Bassmaster Classic, his second classic. 20 pounds and an ounce for four fish. Four fish for 20 pounds and an ounce. For Bassmaster Classic sophomore, James Elam. One more time, Houston, let me hear ya. Twenty pounds and an ounce for James Zealum. Once again, all these fish are going to get taken care of by bass and great folks from Texas Parks and Wildlife are going to get them right back to Lake Conroe for their healthy for you guys to catch for years and years to come. Going to weigh that for Berkeley Big Bass, seven pounds four ounces, and not going to take out Ailers nine, twelve, and a seven eleven. A couple of sevens, a welcome addition to that bag. Uh, a great start to this event. 20 pounds for just four fish. I don't know if that makes it more frustrating or more exciting, but whatever way you look at it, you're in the top five in the Geico Bassmaster Classic. You know what? I'm excited because 11 o'clock, I'll tell you a little secret. I didn't have a fish. Uh, I rallied back today. I just stayed patient. I didn't have a good practice loss like a lot of these guys probably telling you. It's really hard to figure these fish out. I just went where I got some bites and uh, slowed down even more. And uh, I think the big ones bit a little bit because, you know, the weather rolling in and everything. So I'm happy to have that. Uh, tomorrow I could come in with nothing, but, you know, I'm going to fish hard. And I'm going to try to do some of the same things and maybe add to it a little bit more and see what we can do. I would love to see it. That second classic, what did you change? It, you know, it's always a learning process. And I've read a lot of things that you went into this season. What did you change coming into the second trip to the classic? Well, you know, like last year, uh, I had a really, probably one of the best practices I've ever had before a tournament, and I, I wasn't really, really nervous. It just didn't work out for me, you know. I, maybe I was fishing too much history. It was on my home waters of Grand Lake. Here, I just showed up and fished. I, I came to this lake for one day to practice before the cutoff and drove around. It didn't even fish, and, you know, I just figured we got four days of practice. I'll show up, I'll fish, and I'll figure it out then, so... Maybe that's the difference. I was really nervous this morning because I didn't know how it was going to shake out. But, yeah, I'm happy to have that. So I guess you are. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. we got back-to-back -to -back up here.